Hi, welcome to my Sunday Log series. Today I want to talk about inner beauty. But before I go into the topic for today, please join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hello, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling great and um, if you haven't had a particularly good week I hope you feel much better after you watch this. I want to talk about inner beauty today um, and as you can see I have lipstick on today, put on my makeup nicely. Um, it's mainly because I feel like um, as humans we tend to focus on um, external beauty and forgetting about what truly matters, what is important is how we feel on the inside, who we are on the inside. And as um, as a Christian, as a believer, as a child of God, we should always focus on, you know, not just other people's inner beauty. We should start with ourselves. We should focus on how we feel on the inside, who we are on the inside. We should make sure that we are not only, you know, who we say we are on the outside. We should also portray that beauty that we exude on the outside. We should... We should um, we should make sure our you know inner beauty shines and comes through. The reason I'm saying this is because I feel like a lot of people take this for granted, and um, the more I have um, walked in this journey with Christ, the the, the closer um, I get to my destination, or the closer I get to the path I meant to be on in this journey called Christianity, I find that I'm starting to see people differently. People that um, I originally would meet and just take everything at face value. If they smile, I smile back. If they say something, I don't question it. I find that I step, I've stepped, you know, back. I've taken a few step, steps back and I'm starting to see and get to know people for who they are and the reason this is very important for you is because it helps you it helps you align yourself properly it helps you in the direction you should be taking in life with your relationship with your work with your finances with your family with your friends with every single aspect of your life even with the way you relate to God inner beauty is very very important the way, you know, you can't be, I'll use a woman because I'm a woman, I'll use a woman as an example. You can't be a beautiful woman on the outside, you know, you look perfect, clean cut, hair, makeup, everything is always pristine and precise and, you know, nicely done. And on the inside, you're having bad thoughts. You are very vengeful, you're bitter, you're mean, you're not very kind, you don't ever have anything positive to say about anybody all you see is ugliness in people or it could also even be at work maybe you're very judgmental or you always feel you have to prove a point in the, in the wrong ways i feel like if you start to um act differently in the different aspects of your life and fix yourself from within so that it shows on the outside. I feel like it would just make you a better person in, in general. And even for men, the same as well. Um, it's very, very common in men because men are very visual. Like even when a man is going after a woman or pursuing a woman, the first thing he notices is, you know, the things he's physically attracted to, what he sees on the outside. And a lot of times they get misled or they let, they, they get, they, they end up, what happens, I'll use an example of like some marriages, what happens is a man will meet a woman and maybe he's um, gone after her for specific reasons. It could be for her looks, finances, you know, artificial things. And then when they get into this union called marriage, they start having issues because the man starts feeling like, you know, you're not who I married. You're not. And I'm not talking about things like having a weave or makeup or whatever. Forget all that stuff. I'm talking about proper, like real inner beauty. They don't look for the right things. Like, you know, if it's a man that, you know, likes a woman that stays at home. Um, 
Did you go for somebody that's a homebody? Did you go for somebody that's, you know, that wants a family, that wants to raise her children and, you know, work and things like that? What happens most of the time is men and women, we focus on the, the things that have no value or the things that have no sense. And what we see as beauty on the outside is not necessarily what, what we will end up appreciating. For instance, women, if you go for a guy strictly because he's financially stable or he's handsome or he's tall or looks a particular way and then you marry him and he's very mean to you or he's not a good father or he's never at home or he wouldn't, you know, he doesn't um, seek God or he's not fearful of God in everything he does, then that's someone that is displaying signs that he lacks inner beauty and i feel like inner beauty is something that we should seek for in everybody we meet and it's something that has to start from us from within because it takes you having that inner beauty to be able to recognize it in someone else or to be able to look for it in someone else so um i hope this message um reaches you today and i hope you get something from it and you learn something from it and I, i'm trying to learn from it as well um i wish i could add more to it but um I'm just going to leave it here. Um, please uh, join me in saying the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with each and every one of us now and forevermore. Amen. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. And um, I will see you same time next week on my Sunday love. Bye. God bless.